Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back in the next match, Cross Balanced Cup. Back again at Group G, we have two decks. I... No, I was about to say these are two, you know, like a kind of new decks, but that's not really true. The, well, the deck lists are new for the Cross Balanced Cup series. But uh, speaking of dinosaurs and grass infernoids, that's... I think the first time that... Well, not per se infernoids, but, the, you know, the... the, the the cross build enters the cross balance cup series. So basically a 60 card draw deck from Billy Break, one of the lists, you know, he piloted back then, back in, when was it, 2017. So it's going to take on Dinosaurs. This is more of a pure build for Dinosaurs, you know, featuring Extravagance, Going Second, Mystic Mind, The Field Spell, you know, Lost Road, I believe the name is, and Dark Ruler No More. Um, more again of a pure build, and I feel that it does lack some... Well, definitely not consistency, but it has a less higher ceiling compared to, let's say, maybe a scrap, you know, oriented build with scrap raptor, maybe like a small scrap engine, obviously, scrap chimera, golem, yes or no, depends. Um, then again, you're kind of sacrificing, I guess, some consistency if you're running those, but... I guess going first, that's more of a going first build, you're, you know, ending up on more negations. And here in this particular matchup, like Inferno Zoo, it's not really the deck that is main decking a lot of hand traps. So, I mean, okay, in this matchup it could have been, you know, nice, but it is what it is. So, um, the 60 card dot deck, Inferno goes first, and the Zodiac engine is kind of sick in the deck. Um, the thing is, is that... Well, it, it has access to like barrage, uh, double red spear, and basically the you know the standard combo is to go for like our end on trident. Obviously, the deck has access to double trident. Plus, um, what you call it, the bujin that um, that mills fire from the top of your deck. You know, basically fueling your infernoids. Um, here in this case, like like you would say that in theory, and I was like before this matchup, I thought yeah, dinosaurs definitely has a chance, def de no, des definitely has the advantage. But I forgot, I overlooked that um, again. It has <laughs> has been a while that infernoids, most of them, I don't I'm not so sure about the bigger ones like Onuko, for example, that uh, most of the infernoids are basically a DD crow as well. <laughs> during your opponent's turn and then you know sure you can use misc to make your dinosaurs unaffected by you know basically like dryden or stuff like that but the uh, most of again most of the inferno monsters just say let me banish that nice misc in your graveyard and that's that that's actually a big deal especially because again this is more of a going second pure pure dinosaurs right it, it's simple as that uh, so again, I, I'm able to recover from this, but um, this is again the second conductor, and um, again, I don't think I was able to, you know, like, um, keep a misc in the back of my hand, or, you know, you know another one and for more protection, right? But again, I'm able to plow through the board, and I don't think there is any potential, like, this is cute, you know, with giant tracks, attack with giant tracks into Dryden, due to Whiptail, it's going to be banished, but again, you know, another attack, etc, etc. And you know, I was like, I go for Lagia completely back in a duel, and like, look at this, the deck just keeps on sacking, <laughs> even though it's a 60 card deck, the deck is main decking, like, so many power spells. Triple Desires, Barrage, and mainly this, right? The Shadow Fusion for Infernoids that, again, it's very similar to Shadow Fusion. Well, what is it? It's a continuous spell that makes all of your Infernoid monsters, I think, level 1 on board. All battle damage is halved, I think. But, um, you know, if your opponent has, like, an extra deck monster on board, you can use, um, you know, up, what is it? Up to 7 monsters from your main deck for the Fusion Summon. So it basically it fuels, it's basically a big foolish burial, right? So here, I guess, the game is not over yet, but um, like my chances here of winning are very slim. And here I was like, maybe, you know, because what is it, Anunku and is it Deviati again the names? Um, I'm not so sure. Well, I, mean, I think, is it Onunku that negates spells while Deviati, Deviati pops back row? So I believe Deviati negates monster effects. I believe it's something like that. And uh, here again, it, I have no fuel left. I have nothing left to, you know, potentially get myself back in a duel. An extra conductor in the main deck, a third one, you know, could have helped out, but again, like turn after turn, if your opponent is able to break through your dinosaur board, it's just so hard. Okay, post side deck, I go second, and again, I should have the advantage. Uh, a 2017 Zodiac Grass, well, Grass Inferno deck has like no protection for Nip, which again is going in. Uh, the deck is playing Triple Ash, obviously you're not having that for... Like, look at this. 
Um, thing though is, is that I'm not so sure if uh, Fairy Tail is banished, but um, like Lost World here in this situation or in this matchup, I think is pretty strong. Again, prevents targeting if you know your opponent controls a token. Sure, with Fairy Tail they can get rid of the token, for example. But uh, if there's no Fairy Tail, you know you can definitely capitalize on that, right? Prevent your opponent from using. Um, like any targeting effect, like what is it, the level 3 Infernoid, I forgot its name, the one that pops a monster from your opponent, the level 3 one. So anyway, I can, I can kind of go for my standard dinosaur combo. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not so sure what the potential, you know, potential follow-up plays for Infernoids are here in the graveyard. I do opt to go for Dweller, so there might actually be a Fairy Tail Snow, I'm not so sure. So go for Dweller again, put my, uh, you know, Giant Drex in the graveyard and go in, in, indeed for Lagia, you know, for the potential summon negation. Uh, double Fairy Tail Snow again, you're not able to target, right, um, the Lagia? I guess so, yeah, because of the token. Um, but here, I think in this situation, it didn't really matter too much. Again, giving my the, uh, giving my opponent an extra token um, doesn't matter, right? Simply because Conductor can just plow through that. Um, and uh, what was it? The set is it was it Brawl? Yeah, Brawl could potentially extend into I guess Whiptail into Trident or whatever. But here in this case, again, this should be my duel. Um, have another, uh, not, not another conductor in deck, but uh, the Ultra Evolution, right? The pill in hand and that Fairy Tail Snow, that's not, definitely not going to help, simply because again, the conductor can just attack all monsters from the opponent. So again, 1-1. One, one. Um, Dinosaurus goes first, and I kind of expected this one, but I was like, well, what can I do? And the thing about this build is, is that, um, and that's where I talked, you know, I mentioned before, is compared to maybe a less consistent uh, build with scraps or like a small scrap engine, uh, you're somewhat sacrificing like a much higher ceiling, like a much uh, more devastating potential end board. Like with that build, especially against this particular Zodiac Infernoid build that's running not too many hand traps, like none. You, you, your end boards are going to be much more threatening, like Appaloosa, Lagia, and or Dolka, plus Conductor, plus Savage, right? Burl Savage. But it is what it is, so that's not the case. So Conductor puts, I believe, the first monster phase on. I missed what it is, but here again, those powers. Okay, Invoker. Like, the power spells here definitely come in clutch, and... Like, worst case scenario, because again, I, there is no Edge Blossom in hand, worst case scenario, it's either the Shadow Fusion, you know, use your um, Inferno monsters from the deck, <laughs> right? Oh, no, no. Like, again, like, worst case scenario, and it was a worst case scenario, but the cool thing is here, a Pot of Extravagance was activated before, you know, banishing six cards at random from my extra deck, and here, I'm not so sure, like, what effect... Oh, it's the fusion that forces your opponent from sending, what is it, up to three cards from their extra deck to the graveyard. And um, both targets, it's, let's say, like, during 2020 format, like, Dinosaurs here, in this case, was main decking stuff for Maximus. You know, you can send, what is it, Mechaba and... Um, Cyber Dragon Nova, I think, from your extra deck to the graveyard to special summon Mega but, but But even with that, like, huge advantage play, I'm not able to come back, right? Due to Onunku, uh, I'm not so sure which effect that Decatron copied. It's basically just a potential DD Crow during my turn. I think that the uh, the effect, um, it's not, you know, until the end phase, right? The effect that it, it copies, I don't think so. But it's basically another DD Crow plus Ride and Pop. So you see how powerful like the combination of Infernoids plus Zodiac is. It's a pop, it could potentially be a mill as well. And like, like the addition of multiple power spells makes things much more um, you know like devastating. And here. <laughs> so okay, double Dolga is forced out. That's fine. So now I can keep my conductor still, which again forced we know we knew that, that I believe there was a whip tail because of you know Broadbull. But Soul Charge, ah, the one of Soul Charge from the top of your deck, like, oh, and I have an Imperm set as well, like, it, it was basically only Soul Charge, because here, well, this is a Totem Bird negates, like, any spell or trap from your opponent by detaching two, and uh, I'm not able to, you know, uh, you know, prevent Trident, I guess, from popping my, uh, my Conductor, and, um, well, even then, like, one Imperm wasn't enough, but it was just a Soul Charge, and... <laughs> Another cross, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, I think I'm going to survive, but I'm not so sure if I have any fuel left, uh, especially with Try That on Field, plus Anunku negating, what is it? I believe it's a spell, spell or trap, yeah, because Anunku, when it's summoned, you know, it pops, it's basically a Rageki or Darkhold. 
So again, I let my opponent go first, and um, this opening end is delicious. Again, Nibiru, Dark Ruler, Ash for the potential cross, so that's fantastic. Plus, you know, the potential lovely two-card combo of Misk and Ovi, or Misk plus Baby. So again, prevent potential Omega from coming out, maybe the, Buj the Bujin rank 4, you know, potentially nil, what is it, 5? And uh, like this board is not threatening. Again, there is a token on my opponent's side of the field. So dinosaurs here in this case are potentially protected. Uh, what, what is it called? Atondel, I believe the name is, of the level 8 Infernoid. Again, has the capability to tribute away a token. That's important to, you know, DD Crow uh, a card from my graveyard. But I can recover, right? Again, the opponent controls one token, and yeah, one token was tributed because of the Atondel. So again, go for my standard combos. There's one set. Like for Inferno, it's a 60 card build that could potentially be a, what's a trap card? Um, void? Void? You know which one I mean, the one that special summons multiple Inferno from the from the main deck. Uh, void, void Feasts, Void Feasts, right? I believe so. And on Lagia to potentially negate the summon, and again, like, you know, Link Rebo for, you know, potential more protection. Uh, go for Pank again, another potential interruption, plus Conductor, plus a one set, I'm not so sure what my set is, but this should be my duel. Again, prevent the potential Lagia, uh, potential uh, Dryad from hitting the board, and there is still a Lagia on board. So this was, again, like two or three quick duels. Problem again, going first, and uh, look at which cards I banished, there is still a Lagia, there is still one Dolka, so I'm fine, I'm fine. Problem is, is that I'm going first, so now the Inferno deck does have like an extra sixth card, which again could be, you know, those potential power spells, Desires, Econ, Grass, or whatever. So I need more Ash, <laughs> and I, there's no Ash in the hand, so that's already a big deal. That means that Lagia is basically my only spell and trap spell negation, right? So I can go for my standard dinosaur com and okay, this is cool. I'm definitely, at least I am, able to end on double rank 4 exceed play, plus conductor, right? Plus conductor, okay, that's nice. And uh, like, look at this, like this, I think with the build is, I think the best potential hand you can have, but look at this. Econ is not able to, you know, activate because you can't, well, you, you, uh, no, because you can't target, you can't attribute the token away to, you know, get rid of your token and you can start, you know, targeting stuff. But that fairy tale snow mill again you know you're able to get rid of the token and all of the like look at this <laughs> all of the answers this forces up my only spell and trap negation and here is where an edge blossom could have saved the day but nope and uh, that huge grass looks greener gets you know uh, you know gets gets used uh, milling, what is it, 22 to 30 cards, and uh, the Imperm was, again, at least I think I had to use Imperm here on Deviati, you know, for some extra protection, but here in this case, yeah, that's the deal, right? I, if I still had Misk here in the graveyard, you know, using uh, Lost World, I could potentially have done something, but the fact that the Inferno monsters are basically like all hard counters to like like Tengis, like Tengis, ooh, against Sword Soul, but uh, against like Misk or potential dinosaurs, that's kind of big. That's kind of big. And here in this case, Lost World is not going to cut it. I do draw Misk, and like in hindsight, this. Like, like, looking at now, like, like, I'm not so sure, again, okay, my extra deck is kind of low, I, I'm not so sure if I have any resources, good resources left. Uh, I also think most of the good cards are banished due to Pot of Extravagance, but I think I just should have, you know, used Misk. Uh, you know, activate the field spell, the field spell would have got, uh, you know, destroyed by Trident, but still, I had some potential plays ready. Or, oh no, Deviati is there. Yeah, yeah, oh, I don't think it would have mattered. The Viati negation, plus the field spell is popped, so oh, that's why. Okay, no, it makes sense. Okay, it's fine. So, uh, for me, kind of um, 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 a surprise, simply because as you saw, uh, like, the 60 cards, but the deck is main decking so many power spells, like triple barrage, triple desires, triple, uh, well, you know, like the, the cross looks greener, etc. So you're main decking so many power spells and, you know, going second is so, so big for that potential deck that it's kind of disgusting. And <laughs> the Zodiac engine comes in clutch into, at least for so many duels, right? Um, so Infernoids. Infernoids takes three points over the more recent deck being Dinosaurs. But next up, we have, um, I feel, one of the public favorites being Blood. So Destiny Hero, Plasma, Beatdown, Reasoning, Gate, Top Deck. It's going to take on a plan build from 2010, being Trick Draw, Dandy Warrior. So again, you know, two very similar decks, uh, even though there is three years of difference between both of them. So again, feel free to leave your predictions. Okay. Guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a control like. If you enjoyed the video, leave me something.
Peace.